hello there and welcome to my channel in this video i'm just going to show you how to how to integrate guna ui framework into visual studio into visual studio specifically vb.net and this will be done locally i mean offline okay all right so with that said let me just go ahead and create one project so we can demonstrate with it all right so i'm using visual studio 2019 and my interface is a bit different so depending on the version you're using you would see options that are a bit different from mine okay so this is my startup page i'm just going to select create new project from here and i'm going to look for visual basic Better yet, you can filter by these options, language, visual basic, platform, windows, project type, you can say desktop. And then you have a refined list of options here. So I'm just going to select Windows Forms app. This one right here. Okay. Windows Forms apps into bracket.net framework. I'm interested in that. So I'm just going to select next after that. Then now give the title of the project i'll say maybe guna ui integration integration like so and leave the rest of the options as defaults and then hit on create okay so we have our project created successfully for us okay now this is our first form this is our first form we can drag what we call controls onto these forms okay i mean onto this form by going inside the toolbox, okay, mine is loading. Okay, hopefully, 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 good. So these are all controls or tools available for you to design your forms, your application, as to how you want it. But let me just expand the common controls and then just select a button and then just drop it, expand it a little. So you see how it looks like okay so this is a default button available in visual studio all right but then it happens that when we want our application to look more elegant more nicer and what have you there are third party libraries out there that can help us do exactly what we want okay and one of the libraries is actually guna Okay, so you can read about Guna the more and you get to know what I'm talking about. But then in this video, let me just go ahead and sh show you how to add the Guna UI framework to your project locally. And it is actually a DLL file. All right, so let me go ahead and open my toolbox once again and then make sure I collapse this one. Now, on this general tab here, Okay, make sure it is not expanded close it and then right click on it and go to add tab all right okay when you right click just select add tab and say guna and then type guna okay so once you've done that okay right click on the guna tab here and then choose items select choose items when you right click you choose items okay then you'll be presented with a choose toolbox items window okay and we want the first option here we want this one here dot net framework component so let's wait for it to finish loading so we can proceed from there Okay, so it's taking a bit longer than usual. So for the first time, normally when you open it, these are some of the things that happened. It is trying to load all the items that are available in the .NET Framework component. Okay, so just have to give it some time. OK, 
Okay. Snappy, 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 snappy. Okay, so now it has finished loading. Let's just say that we want to browse and then add on to what it's already here. I mean, the list is just enormous like that. So let's just browse and then add on to the already existing one. So we are just going to select browse here. Okay. Now I have a locally downloaded Guna UI framework on my desktop. So I'm just going to navigate you there you can see it is right here guna ui framework so i'm just going to open that folder let me go back right click on the folder and then select open and you can see that there are actually two folders i'm interested in the first one guna ui framework library so right click on that open it then i'm just going to choose this last one here the ui2 and then select open and then select dot net 4.0 and then i'm just going to choose this file here guna dot ui2 dot dll dynamic link library so i'm just going to open that and it is going to load and add all the selected files to be part of the already existing ones I'm going to include a link to download the DLL file in the description so you can check it out, okay? Yes. All right, so you can see that now it has been added to our framework. All right, so let me just hit OK from here and you can see that there'll be a changes here. Good. Can see that now another tab we created a guna tab could see that there are a lot of options available for us now just like we went into the common controls to pick a button i'm just going to be inside this guna tab here and look for guna guna 2 button this one here and then just drag it onto the form and see how it looks like so it is processing okay Yes, yeah, so this is one thing you are going to be faced with. Okay, so I'll show you how to get rid of this one very soon. Let me just close it. But then, as you can see, we have a button that is pre designed nicely for us, and that is Guna in action. All right, good. Now, let me just quickly go ahead and show you how to deal with the activation. So, I'll go to my desktop where i have the guna ui framework this one here and then open this folder called guna, guna ui keygen open it and you can see that there is this keygen file here right click on it and then open it so when you open it this is what you are going to experience just hit on any key on the keyboard maybe the enter or the space bar and then you are good to go so once you do just that the program is activated so you can just go ahead and close this um, window here and you are good to go now let me go ahead and drag one more control Let's say maybe i want um what should i even pick let me see i want ellipse guna ellipse okay this one here guna ellipse just drag it and drop it drop it onto this form and then make sure i select this one expand the properties window and i'm going to target this form here form one look at what happens to the forms so here target control i'll select that and i'll select the form one you could see that all the controls that are associated with our form is now taken away 
we now have a sleek and nice looking form that we can have our default controls i mean the close the minimize and all that we can define it ourselves okay we see that the default look and feel of um what visual studio was giving us from the ground up okay it's now taking off and it's now giving us a fresh look so we can go ahead and say we want um, a label okay a label here like that and then look at the text property make sure i sort this one and say maybe this one should be close now the font size of this one i can increase it to maybe 14 okay and then just copy and paste this one for us to have something like a minimize like so okay let me just do it like so and then change the color of the x to something like a red a red like so and the font i think i need to increase it a bit so maybe 20 and this one to likewise 20 okay so this is what we've done so let me just go back into the toolbox and then show you one more thing so still under the i don't want to expand all i want only the guna ui stuffs so let me look at text box guna ui text box okay this one here expand it a bit Okay, control C, control V. So we can have this one here. And then let's go back and pick Guna UI button here. And then just. Okay. So let's go to the text property and change this one to maybe login. Okay. So we can have a label, a label, and this one to be maybe and say maybe username, username, and make sure the font size is increased a little, so maybe fourteen. All right, so like that. So let me just delete this one and just copy this one here or better yet i can drag whilst i hold down the control key or the command key on the keyboard and it will just do a duplicate of this one for me change this one to um password okay password password make sure i align this to the middle a bit and then let me just write a simple code for this label here so just double click on it so what i'm just going to do is that whenever that button is clicked i'll just say application application dot exit simple as that and then go back to the design view and hit on start hit on start okay so let me just minimize this so you see what exactly is happening so as you can see we are having this nice ui here okay now you could see that even the controls the text boxes are looking slick already and that is ui i mean the guna ui and whenever you hover your mouse pointer over this button here you can see that the color is actually changing and that is guna in action for you you can do a whole lot of fancy stuff for this good night ui framework i hope you like this video please give it a start give the video a thumbs up okay like the video please like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done that i'll i'll catch you in another one thank you for watching and bye